Hello, hello everyone. This is Light Shadow coming to you after I record this video actually. So I went in to edit the video, to prep it, to totally come out on the correct day it was supposed to be and found that, um, so the in-game sounds were working, but, uh, I had no mic. So none of my audio was recorded correctly. So you guys couldn't hear me throughout the entire 1 hour and 40-ish minutes. So what we're going to do is uh, Light Shadow reacts to footage of her playing Subnautica this episode. Because, yeah, if I don't have audio but I want to show you my progress, we're just gonna have to have me react to it. So yeah, I was searching around trying to, I think, prepare for the inevitable journey into the darkness. And yes, I switched up the base color because I wanted to be able to see Shadow easily. So I think I either did blue or I did yellow. I think it was yellow from my memory of this. But yes. On an unrelated note, there will still be cuts in this video, but I'm just going to basically be talking and rambling while watching my footage play out. And feeling bad, cause you know much the sadness. So yes, this is Light Shadow reacts to her own footage because her audio failed her. Episode 1 and hopefully the final episode as well. Enjoy! So yes, we're just gonna watch what I do, I guess. I know I wanted to go forth and finally finish my expedition to go look at that life pod 19. So I think that's what we started doing here even though it was dark. I decided to be brave and actually drive out my precious Cyclops in that general direction. Though be warned, I get sidetracked very easily. I don't know if you guys noticed this throughout the whole series, but yeah, I get sidetracked and also scared. Because you can see I'm just going forward very, very slowly, unsure of what to do. But I do keep going forward, if that counts for anything. So, ta-da! After a bit, I realized I needed to go up a bit, just so that I would stop hitting things. And yeah. Looks like I've decided to look around the inside and turn it off for some reason. Yeah, I don't recall why I turned it off right there. So, who knows? Oh, I think I decided to just wait for the dawn to show itself. So I think we're about to have a cut till dawn? If I'm right, then I'll see you guys in a squidget. Food nom! Appropriate reaction to having foods and nom in them. Oh no, I have to plant food nom. Nom! Voila! Noms have been planted and also nommed. <sighs> An unrelated note, while we're just watching me walk around willy-nilly like an insane person. So, I'm planning to keep up the normal schedule for right now, just till I get a lot of pre-recording done of doing Monday, Wednesday, and Friday for uploads for my videos. This video is going to, should be coming out on the 28th because I was a silly and didn't check the footage and then realized what I had done and that... That was a weird experience just now, watching on the screen. But I was a silly, didn't check the audio, and then when I checked it, it was Sunday night and I had the final class for one of my exams and it was like, well then, I guess it'll just have to come out a day late. And then, of course, in all my wisdom, I decided to totally give you guys a video letting you know that the video would come out a day late. Of course, you might have noticed, or you time travelers might have noticed, that this episode indeed is not really on Monday, but on Tuesday, and there was no forewarning. So my apologies about that, I'm hoping to get better about these kinds of things. 
So you can see I was turning lights on and off because I'm a crazy child. But we all already knew that. And then I turned off the inside lights because we needed night terrors. We needed those. Only 150 meters in and I'm already scaring myself. And then I just sealed myself in like that because, you know, as you do. That's the normal response to stuff. <sighs> but yes. Then I get back to walking around willy-nilly and waiting for the dawn. Wondering when it will approach. But yes, I think we're in for a time lapse. Till I find something interesting. So snap fingers and time lapse. Except I can't snap my fingers trap. Time lapse time. Just going around randomly, looking around, letting the sunshine. Going insane like normal and just swimming around at the speed of sound. Collecting a little bit of quartz and then going, oh hello cave thing, I should probably explore you. And thus I decided to descend into the depths of the cave thingamaboop. But yes. So as you can see we have the cave. Dun -dun 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 -dun! Because we've totally never seen a cave before that I was willing to explore and descend into. Come on now, we've only had like one like that so far. So slowly but surely I piloted safely, never any collisions whatsoever, none, no problems whatsoever, no random noises that make it sound like my ship is going to abruptly slowly compress and die. Nothing like that. See all the random little fishies. I think some of them were bad little suckers. I also murdered a fish just now. I just spotted that. So that was a thing. And then I got out of the thing, checked around, and was like, well, it doesn't say I'm colliding with anything, so yeah, engine powering down. That is the basics. And it's like, okay, let's go down the ladder. And let's do the sm the very smart thing. Let's actually leave it, even with all the crashing noises. So we finally did it. Decreased. We went and we explored. Then we got the ultra high capacity tank. Acquired. So that was a much excitement. Then we got inside. We grabbed the PDA. To PDA. What she said. I was like, oh, hey, Data look at that, another ruby. Data. And more ores. Because you know me, I like hoarding. And I just kept going. Welcome aboard. It's all like, Board thank you, Cyclops, for welcoming me aboard. But, yes. What you are about to see is the highlight reel of the hour 40-ish minutes after this. So yeah, apologies about being cut up. If people would like it, I could upload the full episode. It would just have no audio outside of the Subnautica sounds. But if you want to see everything that transpired, I can do that. But yes, that is a future event. Again, apologies about the audio. Not much I can do, but I want you guys to still see stuff. So yeah, on to the clip show. So as you can see, I decided to actually make a modification station on the Cyclops to get my new shiny high capacity tank of magic and look at it. Look how beautiful it is. A whole 225 oxygen. 225! I had celebratory noms after that. Now here's something I was really proud of. I was scouting ahead in my sea moth in a little area, and I spotted the glowy thingamaboops. Cause I had forgotten where those were, but then, you know, re-found them, which was amazing. I didn't expect to actually find them, but of course, couldn't go all the way in with the sea moth. But by just doubling back a bit, I could get into the Cyclops and explore. So much excitement about finally exploring that area!
So here's a really, really fast time lapse of me moving around the area. And then as you can see, we power down the engine because I want to start looking around because, you know, we're a good distance down and I hear something. And over there are the glorious little dudes. I was terrified of for like 10 seconds before I decided, you know what? I'm going to be brave. So I went over to one of them and decided to go ahead and scan him even though he was really, really, really loud. I mean, have you heard how loud they are just by walking alone? But yes, the sea treader leviathans. A lovely species. Uh, I really doubt I got all the quartz and salt in the world because this place that I uh, believe it's called the Grand Reef this place has so many resources and it's so safe from what I recall I only spotted one dude that could be problems but I don't think he bothered me the closest I got to being unsafe was actually nearly drowning at one point but I forget where that happened, so there's a valid chance that I might skip it. So as you can see, I decided to do the smart thing and to go to the Sea Treader's Path. Not too far from it, like just above it, and just go ahead and place a beacon, because again, I am very bad with my directions. So I figured it was safer to just go ahead, mark the area, give it the name, yet see... Treaders, happy face. Because I figured that was the appropriate name to give it. And then I think I just continued following the path for a bit before I found some things. So, as you can see, I just did a little speed run again of this because, again, we're trying to get for an hour and 40 minutes worth of footage. But as you can see, I found a few things some stuff for a prawn suit, some thermal plant pieces took a bit. I did also scan a membrane tree just because why not? It's a thing, so let's get it. I got a Pronsu drill arm blueprint. And then I think I ended it off with getting the thermal plant. I just remember I got so many resources in this area that it was horrifying. Truly horrifying. So as you can see, I came across another crevice into the depths of the world. And then ignored it basically after a moment. Because I could only go so far down and I didn't think I could fit my cyclops in there. At least for what I remember, I don't think I tr even tried. We'll see in a moment looking at the video of course. For reasons, I repaired my seamoth. Something about not wanting it to... Well, I don't want to find out what happens if the Seamoth gets to zero health and such. But yes, I came over here to make my greatest discovery for progress in the game, I believe. Warning. Maximum depth reached. Because I found magic. It's like, oh sure, there's a couple of parts here and there. But the magic, the real magic, was not far off after I started scanning. Because of course, more thermal plant parts, not a big deal, right? Moonpool fragment, eh, find those everywhere. Still not a big thing to deal with. But then I swim up here and I'm like, oh hey, a random little object. Open it up. Vehicle upgrade console console, however you say it. My life was complete from that moment on. You'll see why soon. And thus, I created magic. Because right off the bat, I could add on to my Seamoth. I mean, look at that. Yes, I named it my child. Because it is my child. We all know this by now. Took me a bit to figure out a color, of course, but then I was like, ooh, shiny color. From what I recall, I think I went with purple. Oh, that's always nice when I get that right. And then, yeah, it was just white on that, and then I decided, 
color. Colors are good. Took me a second to grab the little circle in the corner in order to move it around, of course. I was thinking of blue, and then I was like, oh, wait, what would be better than pink? To go with the purple. I ignored her orders to seek fluid intake because I wanted to just finish designing my shiny. My child. I think I sold on either a green or a blue. Not quite sure which. I just know this is the finished product, and I'm very proud of it. Of course, for reasons, I had to swim back to the giant child as opposed to just my small child. Because for reasons, I needed liquids, because we were not gonna die out there with my newly upgraded magic child. Which is why I actually went ahead and had some of my disinfected water. Terrifying, isn't it? Yep, they did. And then I went upstairs realizing I should probably just fully restock on food noms and liquids. Just because it made sense. So as you can see, I armor nommed a bunch and got everything basically to full health. I think I got a piece off one of the trees or... nope. Okay. And then we got back to the shiny. I think this is actually where I stayed for nearly the rest of the entire video, just playing with my Seamoth, trying to figure out upgrades and such. This was the big thing though, I got the death module. Depth module, death module, however you say it. Still don't know how to get the depth module too though. But that was the big moment where I installed that onto the child. Is now, we'll end the episode with the shiny installation and we'll just call it quits there. So thank you all for watching this video, remember to leave a like, a comment, and subscribe! Also tell me what's your favorite moment of the shadow messed up so let's talk over the entire thing clip show! Because yeah, such is life. But yes, thank you all again for watching, this is Light Shadow, signing out. Bye-bye, everybody.